Hey guys, today I would not be doing a hair tutorial. Um, no hair came in the mail today, and I didn't have a whole bunch to start with, so now I'm waiting. It's gonna be a long wait. Um, April the 19th, to be exact, is what Amazon is saying, so. I guess I'll just be cooking something else for you guys. But right now, I have a few dishes in the sink that need to be washed. I'm going to wash those. And um, that's it. Let me get my, what I'm going to make. Today, I'm going to be making some oxtails, you guys. I sure am. I sure was thinking about putting them in a slow cooker. But for me, the slow cooker is like really, really slow. And I'm just going to go in and put them in the pressure cooker because in the pressure cooker, it only takes about um, an hour, if that, if that. So with that being said, I'm going to wash those dishes that's back there. It's just a little bit. And then I'll come back and start cleaning my oxtail, chopping up my onions and getting out my seasonings for my oxtails, okay? Now I gotta reach over this counter so that I can turn the, um, Okay, you guys, I got those dishes washed. And right now I'm just putting these oxtails All that extra, extra fat. Ooh, I almost got my fingers, you guys. Because you guys, you don't really get, you get one, two, three, four, five, six in a pack. And I don't like the big ones. I like the small ones. This one has a lot of fat on it, you guys. Look at all this fat. Got to go. When I just don't leave very little fat on it because sometimes, but well, most of the times, the fat gives it some flavor. But I'm taking almost all of it off. I just leave a little bit on there. See, and this was the thick part of the fat. This is good now. Drop that. Mm -hmm. 
melt that off. Ooh, that was a chunk of meat right there. Hold on. I'm going to do this like I did my chicken. I saw, um, there was an older lady on the Food Network one time. She was cooking some cooking up still and chicken at the same time. Of course, she had them in different bowls. She said to get that fat off your meat, put some salt in the water and let it sit for about five minutes. And so let me put this back away. You guys, I use an old school pressure cooker because it works way better and it gets the meat that quick. And now I know how to gauge it. So right now, y'all like my stealing knives, you guys? Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to. And my hands were already washed, you guys. They were washed even before I did the dishes. Okay, this is good. It's gonna get with this current day, you guys. And I like big chunks of onion, so I don't want really to chop them up small like that. That's those, because they're going to shrink down anyway when they cook. And some people, they braise their oxtails and do all that. I ain't about to do all that because my oxtail comes, the season be on point, and they be super tender. So, yeah. Okay, ooh, shoot. Onions is cut up. And let me show you guys the seasons that I use. For my, um, and I don't use a lot of all of it. I just like sprinkle it so I have just the perfect amount of season. I use seasoning salt. A little bit of garlic salt. Me and parents, Worcestershire sauce, A1 sauce, 
a little bit of onion powder. Even though I have onions in there, I still put onion powder. Minced garlic. And some accents, you guys. That's what I am going to be seasoning it with. And right now I have some eggs on the stove boiling. Because I'm going to make some tuna. Yep, some tuna. I'm not gonna do nail I'm gonna, Okay. I'm gonna put some water in this um, pressure cooker. And usually I will use beef broth, but of course the store was out of all of the beef, beef broth and chicken broth. <clears throat> I don't have any bouillon cubes. Get my in about five minutes. I'm gonna mix this again. Okay, now we're gonna do the process of elimination. Put some accent in here. Move these over so y'all can say, 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 say. Maybe if I tilt this camera down a little bit, let me see. Okay, I think that looks better, y'all. I think it looks better. Now you can't see me, okay, let me see, pull it up a little bit. Okay. <sighs> okay, this is good, it's gonna get you guys. Then I'm going to put some garlic salt in here. Just a little bit. A little bit of seasoning salt. Mind you, you don't really need that much because the um, oxtails give off a good, give off a good flavor. This is onion powder, and I got some salmon or nothing, and some Worcestershire sauce. I just shake until the water is a little bit brown. And then some a, a little bit of A1 sauce. Maybe I should shake that up. Garlic. Whoops. And then half of the onions. I'm going to sit it on the side of You gotta take this thing off until you see steam coming out the top of it. And there you have it. When I see steam coming out of this little top part right here, let me show you guys how it's heavy too. When I see steam coming out of this little top part right here, that's when I put that lid over it, which creates the pressure so that these puppies can get cooked quick. So, I just put that stuff up a little bit later. Put this over here, closer to the pot. Put these over here, I don't think I'm gonna need them anymore. But, I get tired of taking stuff out and putting it back in. Oh, we're gonna have 
steamed spinach, and I already made some mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna make some gravy out of the broth from the oxtails. So that, that'll be that. What else am I gonna do? Should I open this? Let me do this tuna now, get it over with. You get a bowl, you got Let me get a bowl. Let me get a bowl. Let me wash my hands. Y'all tell me if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know if they just making these eggs super quick these days, but lately since I've been um, boiling eggs, they just tearing right on apart. Just tearing apart when I um, open them. <sighs> yeah, I had a um electric can opener, but I broke it. It fell off the counter and broke. And I'm gonna say that was about two years ago. And I always forget to get my chicken. Well, guess we'll be having chicken salad instead of tuna. And I really didn't want this. I really wanted some tuna. Would it be bad if I just threw it away? Like this chicken stuff, he likes it. But see, I didn't waste the other two. I know I have more tuna. Jeez. Because I never buy one can of tuna. I always buy way more than one can. Let's get that. Waste not, once not. Y'all hold up, I gotta go. I'll be right back, you guys. I gotta go in this um storage thing. Cause I know I got some more tuna. Y'all, it's only one can of tuna, so guess what? I don't even eat this big bowl, but since I already took it out, I have to clean it anyway, so I'm going to do what it do. <sighs> mayo, mayo, mayo. Don't need a lot of mayo. Don't need more than that. Let's see. Let's see if it's enough. Sorry, soup. 
scoopy. Yep, that's enough. Still no steam coming out of the pressure cooker. You know I gotta shake this up. I hate that watery part that comes out. Okay, that's enough of that. And the relish, it's a small can. This little bitty one can of tuna. <laughs> Neighbor walking his dog. Let me see. Keep going. Keep on going, Fido. Ugh. Uh, 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 I'll take that boom and I'll put it right on your doorstep. I sure will. See? <sighs> Folks, we have dogs walking them around the community and then just let them just you dookie, doodle, poop everywhere. Just everywhere. And then they'll clean it up. So I'm glad I was in this kitchen today because I wouldn't have saw whose dog did it. But he didn't see me look out the window, so when I went to the other window over there, I was like, um, let me go over here and see what's up. Then I went to the other window, and he just walked up. That's why y'all heard me yelling in the background. I know it was a little bit rude, but I'm tired of other, I don't even have a dog. And don't want one, okay? Get your dog stuff the heck up out the front of my dang old house. So I had to get it because he's probably one of the ones that if he did it today, he does it all the time. Not clean up the dog poop. But man, I can't with these people. Hmm. I'm gonna put something down there. Is there something you guys that I can use to put down? I'm pretty sure these eggs are done. But just in case, I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Put this stuff up. This nasty chicken up. I wonder if I could trade these with um, tuna. Okay, you guys, I'm going to wait for that thing, the pressure cooker, that steam comes out of it. Let's see if one of these eggs is done. Let's see. Someone said if you put cold water on it, when you're up, <coughs> <coughs> that 
that's allergies. It ain't the Rona, and it ain't my asthma either. Ooh, I thank God my asthma ain't acting up. My season for it to act up is from October to February. And, oh, thank God it's not acting up right now. Because when I go out and I have my mask on, I'll be feeling a little bit claustrophobic. And then you get out, and you know how you usually clean your throat? You afraid to clear your throat and stuff in public? People turn around and be looking. And I know that because I'm one of the looky loos. Okay, I just put that in this thing. I'm about to chop it up. Push it through. And it all falls in. Look like it needs some more relish to me. If the eggs is done, you guys, you can put one more in there. It's on the mask, one more, on the mask, one more. just showing up for you guys today because the other day they was um breaking all up when I was peeling them Tuna, you guys. I'm gonna let it um sit in the refrigerator a little bit longer or a period because it hasn't been in there. And then I'm gonna put it, I can go the healthy way and put it on some lettuce, or I can go the not so healthy way and put it on a thin bagel. You guys, these are so good. I think I'm going to put it on a thin bagel. That's what I'm going to do. Just stack it up. I don't know if you guys can see this thing. Can you hear it? Let me take you guys down. So I can show you guys the thing from the pressure cooker. a little bit hard to see but you can hear it let me see from around this angle y'all see that thing okay now i'm gonna put this lid on it and that is what creates the pressure so that the food can cook quick okay so i'm gonna turn this camera off right now and i'm gonna eat me some i guess you could say brunch because i haven't eaten breakfast it's 11 29 right now so i'm going to eat and then I will come back when the oxtails are halfway done. Okay, guys. I got my juice. And then, remember the thin bagels I showed you guys? I put tuna on it. Mmm. It's a good job. Mm -mm -mm. And I know y'all can hear that, um... Pressure cooker in the background, making all that noise. Mmm, this is so good. So how y'all been holding up through this quarantine time? I've been getting a lot of sleep, not too much. 
Sometimes I go to sleep early and then I wake up and I go, oh, I slept real good, but then I'm tired again. So that's because I'm watching this stuff on TV. So what I've done was I stopped watching the news all day long to see what's going on with Corona. I stopped. It was too much for me. And half of the news was repeat. I stay out for CNN. So I watch the news one time. And that's usually. And now it's in the morning. Before I was watching it at night. But then I don't watch it at night and I be thinking about it when I'm trying to sleep. So I just started watching it in the morning and that's it. Because this though. Too much for me. I'm not scared. I just get concerned about a lot of stuff. And I'm not going to say I'm unbothered. I'm not bothered. I'm not. I'm cautious. I'm cautious and I'm staying prayed up. But that's it. Okay, guys, I'm not finished with them yet. But look at this, you guys. The meat is just falling off the bone. It's been 45 minutes. Meat just falling off the bone. Mm. Mm. Season to perfection. Look at that. And this one, it had a lot of meat of it, but like I said, the meat fell off the bone. Mm-mm-mm. And I almost burnt them, you guys. Caught them on time. But yeah, I'm going to make some gravy for this, and I'll show you guys what it looked like with the gravy poured over it. Okay, guys, I'm making this gravy now, and bear with me. I'm doing this by holding the camera. I put a little bit of cooking oil in the skillet. And usually I chop up onion, but there's so many onions in that broth right there that I don't need it. So I'm going to let this get hot. And while I'm waiting on the cooking where it get hot. I'm going to take these oxtails out of this big pot. Put them in a the little one. Ooh, we, where's that thing? I got this thing. <clears throat> Look, you guys, they're so tender that they fell apart. That's cool. I'm all about the meat. Ooh. I need this over here for end up burnt. Those onions and stuff. And it's a lot of meat in there. And then, like I said, the meat fell off the bone, you guys. I don't mind, though. So now what I'm going to do is pour some of this. Mm, you guys. I'm like, what the heck is he doing? I'm going to pour some of this seasoned flour in here already. And I'm making a mess for this. Okay, I'm doing this with one hand, you got it. Okay. Get my whisker. And then because the season is so rich, I'm going to have to add some water to this. Look at this. Let me down some too. There we go.
I know I'm making a mess. I'm gonna turn it down some more. There we go. Let me get my measuring cup. So I can put some water in there. So far, that's a cup of water. Let me stir this. Up some so we cook. Let me clean the stove off because anybody that knows me knows that. That right there in that stove is just irritating the heck out of me. Now I do a more thorough clean. I'm done and I'm gonna dig in this pot and get the rest of this meat that's in here hold up y'all okay have to turn you guys around I was holding this thing get these onions I'm going to turn it down some so it could cook and get thick. <clears throat> oh, you guys, I'm tired now. Yeah, it was between 35 and 40 minutes, actually. I'm looking at the clock that these were done. And look, there's chunks of meat in this gravy and big. Remember how I cut the onions up big? Big chunks of onions. So what I could do, I'm about to eat, um, um, this meat is super tender. So I could just let it cook like that. What I'm gonna do right now is. Pour this gravy over them, the some of the gravy, there we go. Let it cook like that, put a lid on it. Let the gravy cook a little bit more. So that we'll have some to put ouch, on the mashed potatoes. And that's it. I already made my um my mashed potatoes. I had some left over from the other night. I didn't want to waste them, so I don't have to cook anymore. Now all I have to do is just steam my um um um, um spinach. And that's it. Oh, shit. Dang it. So now I'm going to have um, to, let me put y'all back on this thing. Because I'm doing too much. I just spilled, drop the garlic, the minced garlic, you guys. I dropped the 
out the mince garlic and it got all in my pants. Hold on, more stuff in my hand. Now I gotta clean this up. And we just mopped, well, we, he just mopped the floor. <sighs> Yesterday. tracking it. Okay guys, I am officially tired. So yeah, all that stuff is done. And this is just the meat that I was showing you guys how tender it was. Mm-mm-mm. This is good, you guys. Okay. This plate can go in the trash and so can this one. Mm -hmm -hmm. And everything is seasoned perfect, you guys. Let me start it. Ready to have some more? It got thick to you guys. I'm not taking that camera off of that stand. And I know you can't see them, but the oxtails are in here. Smothered in the gravy. And then I got the gravy right here cooking. Oh, Lord, I gotta do dishes. Not so I'm gonna knock them out. That's it. I'm gonna steam my spinach, and I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna do that until it's closer to the time for us to eat dinner. And that will be it, you guys. I will come back. And I'll show you guys a plate. But for now, I'm going to take a little recess. Yeah, a little recess. Okay? Okay, guys. Here it is. All done. Look at that gravy on them potatoes. Homemade potatoes. Spinach. Them oxtails. I didn't know you was making an oxtail. I know. That's why I said you're gonna be surprised when you got home. Wow. But yeah, this is it. And we ain't doing no mukbang. I'm just about to throw throw down. You guys, the meat fell off the bone on these things. Look at this. Look. Super tender. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching as usual. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And as usual, stay blessed.